The meeting is part of events to engage various stakeholder groupings and also market the policies of the NDC and their manifesto. John Mahama admonished the clergy not to take the back burner on issues of national interest, especially the upcoming elections. I will urge you not to sit passive, passively and watch. I think that our clergy should get involved in the processes of the election. Nothing stops you from sending representatives as observers to the coalition centers, to the police, uh, polling stations to see how the count is going on. Nothing stops you from tallying the results yourself, putting in a tally system so that you can also tally the results so that when uh, there's controversy between us about what the results are, you will also be able to say, well, from the tally we got, uh, we think that this is what um, the, the actual result he indicated that a future NDC government will institute a national day of thanksgiving and prioritize religious freedom. This initiative for a national day of prayer and thanksgiving stems from my belief in the power of prayer and reverence for God as essential elements for the success of any nation. And I reaffirm this pledge to you today. The day of prayer and thanksgiving will serve as a day of intercession, promoting national unity and cohesion which are vital for our country's development and growth. We will prioritize religious freedoms, recognizing that churches are not only places of worship, but also centers for social upliftment, compassion, and moral leadership. The clergy responded to the call of the former vice president. We are in four regions. We have deployed people who are going there to be ele election monitors. Some of them will be observers. So yes, His Excellency's call must be heeded to. More councils should also do the same as GPCC is doing. Elections are a time where people come to speak their mind and decide on leadership. And election time in any nation is not supposed to be anything that is bringing chaos. And there can never be peace anywhere without justice. And justice cannot be served without truth. The event did not end without a prophecy from controversial prophet Osu Bempa. The clergy prayed for the country and its leadership.